five bunnies in three traps. And this is good because we were just running low on food. I was just taking first I was just taking stock of our personal inventory and such. And it wasn't looking too good. It wasn't looking too good. Well, hello again there, my friends. I was just spacing out, waiting for the day to come, staring at the stars, and it blew me away. The stars in the sky actually move across, as if the Earth itself here is rotating around. And that is just another reason, one of these small little, small little reasons of, you know, personal touch that they put on this game that I absolutely love. And another reason why I just cannot stop playing this game. It's got its claws in your old papa heart, I tell you. And I ain't breaking free. I ain't breaking free just yet. We got a lot more vintage story to go. But yes, welcome. It is a beautiful day and we got a, we got a list jam-packed full of fun activities. So right below me, you'll see there is our brand spanking new watering can. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me, uh, let me get my HUD here and buttons. There we go. Look at this. So this is another thing you make out of clay. And honestly, the most fun thing I've made out of clay just yet. So you just uh, you cook it normally. You fill it up with water. And then you can just, look at that, squite water everywhere. Squite, 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 squite. It's like your squirtle part of the, the squirtle squad. You know what I'm saying? Um, so today we are, we are going to do some farming. I got some farmland set up over here. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, you look at that. Some copper bits right here next to base. Oh, shoot. We're going to go digging up our own backyard then here soon enough. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we're going to get to mining today. It is on my agenda, but we'll see how long everything else takes. So I did a little bit of stuff uh, after we all left each other. And I got our farm set up. Oh, got our farm set up right here. So that awesome Terra Petra, or Terra Preta, rather, I was telling you guys about. We got it set up on this section of the farm. Then over here, I managed to find a bunch of medium fertility soil. And uh, this was all just bare dirt yesterday. And you guys can see the grass has already taken over. Um, now I do have, well, this isn't going to work. Uh, these walls, these are going to keep the critters out once we start building up our, our foodstuffs in here. Because the critters, I believe, will mess with your farm. And we just don't want that. So, uh... I built this wall too high. That should keep them out. Another awesome technique you guys can do is to dig a trench around your base and uh, or around your farm. And that's one thing we're going to do. So definitely you do it too deep, kind of going all the way around. That's rock. We can't do that. But yeah, too deep trench all the way around. Animals will fall in there. Then they're easy pickings for you to just go ahead and, uh, and kill them. Get your food, get your vittles. So we have ourselves a bunch of seeds here. We're going to be saving a couple of seeds too and trying the, I got a little idea for some animal traps, uh, similar to this trench uh, that we just spoke about, but uh, out in the wild, out around our base, and we'll go set those up, see how it goes. So you just make this hoe just like uh, with napping the flint, and then uh, you just set to work, right clicking, digging down your farm plots, and one cool thing, oh, one cool, no, don't, don't break the block. So if you look at the tool tip on the very top, you can see it shows nutrient levels of N, P, and K, all 80%, the growth speeds and moisture percentage. And then if we go over here and look at another block here, see it just, it doesn't show, it just says terra preta, sparse grass. We till it and boom, it gives us the info that we desire. Um, so you can't till through grass, you gotta break this grass up. And then with the seeds, uh, you'll see here required nutrient K, it takes 35 uh, nutrient consum consumption. Oh, consumption. Yo, Papa can't talk. Is 35. That tells you the growth time, the cold resistance, the heat resistant. So as the climate changes, you know, once winter comes, obviously we won't be able to grow these seeds. So I got a bunch of their K and one little guy down here that gives us the N nutrient. Um, so uh, we'll be we'll be planting those accordingly. And let's see. Let me go ahead and clear this hot bar. Boop, boop, and boop. Let's get some seeds down. Oh, we want that. Okay, so one thing, the flax is, this is flax, right? Yep, flax. So flax is super important in my book. I don't want to be missing out on the flax. I want this rice for show. Uh, carrots, we're gonna not do all of the carrots. We'll save three of those for the traps. 
soybeans, boom, 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 and turnips. These are our fast growers right here. Okay, so that is it there. Um, now, ideally, uh, you would dig a hole like somewhere, uh, I believe, well, all right, so you would dig a hole and fill it with water using a bucket. So that would keep the crops hydrated without having to use this watering can. Um, so the hole with water in it will be good for three blocks. So if we dug our hole right here, we'd have one, two, three blocks of moisture, three blocks that way and three blocks this way. But really you don't want to go, uh, I don't think, see normally, uh, da, 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 like vertically wise, diagonally rather, I don't know the distance. Normally I don't, I try not to go more than two just to play it safe, but you can see the moisture level of the crops here. In the dirt so we're sitting at 100 percent we're pretty i don't really gotta water these boys ah squites everywhere oh god i love farming uh, uh, excuse me sorry i just i just really love farming guys oh okay so then of course you can fill it back up just right click in on the water here come down 100 percent full and you know let's dig this up to add it to our farm while we're here why not what is this spelt some spelta a spelt? Okay. Let's add our spelt. And it takes N as well. So, got a lot of N's today. Let me finish tilling this up. And we'll plant our spelt. And look at that. We got a beautiful little farm plot going. And of course, uh, the size of this bad boy, I'm talking industrial farming. I want to make this a beast amongst farms. I want to never have to worry about food again, you know what I'm saying. So with that said, uh, not much else we can do here. Oh, we can. I wanted to plant these berry bushes over here. Boom, 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 boom. And come back. Boop, 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 boop. A boop. And we'll come back here. Boop and boop. There we go. So we got some berries planted. Got our farm going. And, uh, of course, I do want to... Is this... Oh, son of a gun, I overlooked this. Uh, we gotta dig this down. Your old papa's missing steps. Animals can jump right up this. Um, so I do want to replace this stinking mud wall with some fence. But to get the fence, we need the boards. To get the boards, we need the saw. So all more reason why the saw is gonna be super important for us to get here. And, uh, one thing I'm really looking forward to... Let's knock this bad boy out, too. I see you, Bunny. I see you lurking over there. I swear I saw Bunny. He's eyeballing my veggies, dog. He's eyeballing your old papa's veggies, but that's okay. We're going to plant these traps. We're going to get rid of him. Those dang bunnies, those stinking goats, those persnickety pigs, and uh, what, those rascally raccoons, those sly foxes, those other words and animals I can't remember right now, I tell you what. Okay, let's get this going. And we dig, dig up pretty much all the terra preta that uh, was around here. So the trap idea, essentially, we're going to be digging. So we want a trench too deep, of course, and too wide. But there's going to be a caveat. Let me dig this trench, and then I'll show you what we're talking about. Okay, so check this out. So we got uh, this is basically a 5x5 five five block uh, too deep with a pole in the middle. And can we do this from here? Yes, we can. We're going to do that. Plant the veggies, and then we'll squoid it with our watering can, even though it's 100 right now. We'll come back and water these. So the idea is all those critters that I just named off with the awesome nicknames, by the way, I might add, uh, they're all attracted to your veggies. So out here, away from our base, they're going to be roaming in the wild, minding their own business. They'll, they'll sniff in the air, a scent, something most delicious, and bam, they'll run here. They'll see the growing carrots they won't be able to resist, and they'll charge head first, and boom, right into our pit, or we can come by later with a spear and just poke them right in the butt. When we crouch down, poke them in the butt till they're dead, then we got some easy meats. Oh, this will be like an AFK, uh, AFK meat farm. So we got two more carrots. We're gonna we're gonna mark this on the map and move on to the next trap location. Hey, look at that! You can even see it on the map. They're so good at making traps. We'll call this trap number one. Make this red and let's do the swirly because it is a black hole of death and destruction for any unknowing critter who should wander our way. Okay, let's go get these other traps set up and we'll be ready to rock and wait for food to just come to us. Makes it nice and easy. You know, every day as we're running around, we'll just go out. We'll check the traps. 
we'll get some easy grubs and we'll be we'll be groovy. There's a good spot. Let's dig right here. Let's uh let's get to it. Boom. Trap number two. Alright, and trap number three. So I don't honestly know if these traps are gonna work. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else making something like this, but it just kind of makes sense to me that this would work, you know what I'm saying? So we're doing a little bit of science. We're gonna see how it goes. Ah, ooh, parkour, daddy. And, uh, you know, we'll come back here, we'll check them. And, you know, if this works, then uh, I hope it's something you guys at home could utilize in your in your builds. You know, kind of surround your base with the traps as we've done here. See, so we got them in strategic locations placed around. We may actually end up doing another one up north here by chance. Uh, I don't see why not. You know, the a wider perimeter that'll keep the critters away from our base. You know, of course, depending on how the critters themselves actually spawn, which is something I am completely ignorant about. So uh, we'll have to go and see. Ooh, that was almost cool. Almost cool. Okay, so that's the traps. Oh, I didn't mark it on the map. Eh, let me do that from here. On oh, that bow we talked about, y'all. Uh, so if we look at our handy dandy notebook, uh, the bow we talked about last episode that is for hunting, we need three flax twine. Each flax twine is four flax fibers. We do not have all that, so there will be no bow for your old papa just yet. So we'll definitely have to come and uh, revisit that as soon as I can actually get that. I see here we only have six flax fibers, but that's okay. That's all right. We're not going to get discouraged. We're not going to give up. Uh, still definitely something that is on our list of things to do. Let me store these tools, get organized, and we'll move on to the next task. Alrighty, welcome back to it. So we are going to do a little bit of smelting of the ores. So we have our native copper nugget. Uh, oh, oh, God. How many times can I not say something correctly in a video? Now let's make that the next drinking game, shall we? Uh, so our native copper nuggies uh, takes 20 pieces to smelt one copper ingot. You can see it there. So that's going to be 100 units, which is also what we need to fill up our molds here. So 20, we have 64. Therefore, we can craft three, uh, three thingamaboppers. So we're going to start with the two there, which means we need to do... We got our crucible. Plop that old girl in the fire. Then we're going to take... 40 of these if I can oh oh god ah I'm messing up one two three four boom and one two three four boom all right so we got our 40 ingots throw it in there like that you can see it will create 200 units of copper ingot now I have seen some people take these and kind of like space them out evenly amongst the uh, amongst these slots here I don't do that I just kind of lump them all together I believe these slots are here just in, when you're combining multiple metals to make you know uh, like bronze or uh, like bronze, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think there's like bismuth bronze. Uh, the tin bronze takes two and other kinds of bronze and stuff that take like three different metal combos and such. So I just throw them all in the one. I haven't found a stinking difference. I don't know. If there is one, you guys let me know and uh, we'll make some corrections and whatnot. But uh, it always it goes fine for your old Papa Cheddar. Um, let's throw our coals in there. And da, 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 da. oh, you know what? See, this is an issue. So smelting temperature. 1084 so 1084 degrees we only have 900 degrees celsius on our peat and on our firewood we have 700 so we can't actually do this oh i'm sorry i just teased every single one of you i just teased you so that means we need to make charcoal so let's do that all right so the process for charcoal is decently simple you're gonna need a lot a lot a lot of firewood Gonna start there. Boom, boom. Making all our firewood. And let's see. What do we got? We got four, five. Ah, we can do four stacks. Let's see. We got five here. Six there. Uh, let's uh, let's just do it with four stacks, shall we? So we're gonna need a shovel. We're gonna need to make a coal pit. Um, da -da -da. Takes up a decent amount of room. Let's do it right here. This is a decent little area. We'll just reinforce it. Boop, boop. Okay, so the idea is um, kind of what you want to do. You want to dig a hole. Normally I do the two by two by two, but I do like eight stacks of coal. But since we're not doing that this time, um, we're just going to do one stack right here, one little uh, one little layer, and we're going to need this to be blocked off as such. So what you want to do, uh, and we're going to need some grass. Hang on, let me get prepared. Boom, there's our grass. Okay, so. You want to 
place your coal in these pits here. And you can make a pit that is as large as 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. So you can make a gigantic stack of coal all at the same time. I haven't done it uh, that large yet, but you know, it's definitely something you guys are able to do if uh, that so suits your fancy and you got enough firewood. So boom, we got our firewood there. So it's very similar to how you make charcoal in real life. Uh, pretty much by suffocating the fire. Oops. There we go. Wanna cover these bad boys. We're gonna cover up the three right there. We leave one exposed. Let's get this sucker out the way. Um, boom. And then, now once you, once you start this process, you have, I believe, 30 seconds to finish it or it will mess up. So we're gonna crouch down, place our dry grass right there. We're gonna build a campfire on top. Okay, then we're gonna take our torch, crouch down again, and we're gonna ignite that bad boy. Oh God, hurry, hurry, we only have 30 seconds, boom. There we go, so now it is uh, completely sealed. You can see the smoke rising out right here. That means you did it correctly. Um, I believe this takes like 24 hours to do. Let's look here in the uh, handbook if it tells us. Charcoal burning. Okay, so it says down here, reward with charcoal in less than an in-game day. If you hear burning sound, you should open the pit and quickly extinguish the fire. You must have missed a spot and the pit was not airtight. So definitely make sure this bad boy is stinking airtight. Um, I know we are, um, but I'm just going to do this as a little precautionary measure. Um, but yeah, so less than an in-game day, we will have our charcoal and we can begin smelting our fantabulous copper. In the meantime, uh, I think I have some other activities planned for us. So let's, let's get to that. Alrighty, also another way we can get copper other than finding it on top of the surface, like uh, like this little piece right here. I grabbed that up and uh, dug around, but the copper vein, if it is there, is going to be underneath this playstone rock, and we just can't get that right now. So since we have to wait on our charcoal and our copper and such, we are forced to go to different means to get ourselves some more copper. Um, so that is done by panning. So to make a pan, we're going to throw our flint knife in here, throw a nice little loggy do right next to it. You can see here we get a wooden pan. So boom, take that bad boy down, get rid of all this stuff. So if we look in our handbook, pan, ooh, pants, nice, I love pants. Okay, so wooden pan, that's not helpful. That's not helpful. Where is the progression guide? Ah, here we go, panning. All right, well, this uh, survival handbook doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really tell us much. But panning is uh, similar to if you're panning for gold in them there hills. So you're going to need uh, sand and gravel work for this, I believe. Let's get this pulled down, get rid of the stick. And what you're going to do is uh, have your, your sand or gravel here next to the water. You have to actually be in the water for this to work. You can't be standing out of the water. Get your pan in your hand, right click, and you see how it took that stack down, and in our hand now we have wooden pan, uh, well it doesn't say anything, but you can see in the picture that it's full of sand. And we're gonna be in the water, we're gonna right click, and we're just gonna pan for some gold. See what it got us. So we got a claystone stone. Okay, we'll pop that up here, and if you can see I'm out, right click in, must stand in water to pan. So we'll come here and like we can look other places like this, that doesn't matter as long as we're in the water right clicking. What do we get? A whole lot of nothing. Let's do, this, uh, let's do this a couple more times, see what we get. You're supposed to be able to get different metals from this and ores. See, we just got flint. Um, so I don't think all of the metal uh, you can get from this. I could be wrong, um, but I definitely know you can get some copper, tin chunks, uh, you can get some arrowheads. You can get like little accessories for your guys' clothes, like little brooches and necklaces and hair stuff uh, but let's get through some of these blocks and we'll uh, we'll see where we're at okay night has come upon us quickly so we're just gonna go ahead and get back to the base so the panning was not very fruitful for your old pop um, let's uh, let's get in here and we'll look at what we gathered boom safety first actually are we clear over here oh god yep okay all clear so uh, so we had we got to take out one copper nuggy since we had that already. So five copper nuggets, three claystone stones, two flints, and a flint spearhead. And uh, maybe this clay, I'm not sure. Uh, it was in my inventory. I don't know if I just picked that up somewhere or what. 
Um, so, you know, it's not super lucrative, but it's really not terrible. It's actually a pretty good uh, early game source of copper. So we went through, shoot, three sand blocks and we got this. So really not bad. It's just, uh, you know, if you want to sit there and actually go through the whole process. Me personally, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of panning, I'll be honest. It, uh, it's, it's not that fun for me. I'd rather just run around doing parkour, run from wolves, stuff like that, you know. And, uh, and just kind of having fun enjoying the game instead of just sitting down in one spot holding down the right mouse button. But if you're hurting for copper in a pinch, it's, uh, it's a really good method to do it. Um, definitely not as lucrative as if you were to find a, a ore vein underneath the ground and you had the pickaxe and everything, of course, you're going to get faster copper that way. But if you're running around the map and you just absolutely cannot find any copper veins, then panning seems to be for you. Also, too, if you'll notice, our pan has absolutely no durability, so this is something you can just keep on using over and over and over again. Um, we have to eat some food or we're going to die. Oh, there we go. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Boy, I tell you what. Yeah, so panning. Um, it's good stuff. It's uh, it's not the worst. As you can see, our charcoal's still cooking. Night is upon us. We'll just probably tidy up around the camp here for a little bit and, uh, you know, see uh, see where the night takes us. Wait for this charcoal. We can finally get smelting on, uh, on all that good, good. You know, if we have time, maybe we'll go check the farm moisture levels and go check our animal traps. I did hear some uh, some wolves howling not too long ago. They were howling at the moon um, that's not out in the sky, so I don't know why they were howling, but that's okay. They're wolves. Who knows what they do or why they do it? We're going to leave those bad boys alone, and through the use of TV magic, we are going to fast forward for you guys. Ha ha! Oh, while I am thinking about it, um, paths. So if you set up paths uh, throughout your builds or your world or whatnot, you can get walk speed times 1.3. So you'll be 33% faster moving if you travel on these paths. So I believe you can do uh, like this one here, the stone path. You can also do cob or mud bricks. So let's, uh, let's take a little peeky do at those. So cob, boom. Um, okay, so that doesn't give you the speed. I was wrong on that. This one, actually, a lot more materials to make. Cob, what was the other one I said? Where did I wrote it down? Mud bricks. So, da, 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 mud brick. So, okay, this one takes a lot to craft. I mean, it's not a lot, right? It's your basic stuff, but a lot more pieces. You know what I'm saying? And then you have your one we just looked at, stone path. So, walk speed 1.3 times faster, and it just takes four stones and one soil and you get a block. Um, you can also do slabs, you can do stairs. So uh, really, really pretty dang sweet. So once uh, once we get more established here, that's definitely something we're gonna be setting up here in the world of Chetaville. Uh, some paths all along our most important areas. I think that's gonna be really sweet, look really cool and such. Um, let's, uh, let's sleep in the bed, see if that affects our charcoal. It didn't change the cooking. Um, you know, when we were doing it on day one, we tried cooking. Look at that. Look at those stars. Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> didn't speed up the cooking. We'll see if it speeds up the charcoal. Is it smoking? Still smoking. I'll go sleep for just a little longer. It might not let us since we just slept. Let's try it. Yep. Nope. Not tired enough to sleep. So, uh, a little more TV magic for you guys. Ah, look at this. We have our first victim. The traps work. So let's just get down here and beat this poor boy into submission. Creature weight is good. So the babies for these um, baby animals, I don't know if I said it or not, they don't really give much. So it's kind of pointless to kill them, my opinion. Um, I mean, you can, you know, if you're a, you're a little sadistic side of things or something. Um, but they really, they really don't give anything. So I would just let them live if it was me, you know, let them, uh, let them feed the wolves or, you know, grow to be big and plump where we can destroy them for their 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 meal again. And look at that, another little bun bun in here. So we got a solid little bunny trap. It's only been a day. And now we have, what was that, two, two traps checked and two bunnies, one in each thus far. Another neat little thing you could do if you wanted was feed these bunnies, whatever you trap in here. And uh, feed, oh God, feed the bunnies and let them reproduce. And then you just have an endless supply of bunnies. So that's a fun little uh, fun little thing you could probably do with these. 
let's go check out our third and final trap and you know maybe we'll have to set up a bunch more of these especially if there's something over in this one let's uh let's see look at that oh three bunnies in this one are you kidding me our moisture is at 74 percent. i forgot to check the other ones let's go down here and club these poor innocent little creatures and devour them die yeah yeah yes you are mine and one more. You ain't getting away from me, Bubba. There you go. Look at that. So six bunny, or no, five bunnies. Five bunnies in three traps. And this is good because we were just running low on food. I was just taking first. I was just taking stock of our personal inventory and such. And it wasn't looking too good. It wasn't looking too good. Um, now why are we not getting hides from this? We're only getting stinking meat. I mean, I'm not complaining. You know, I don't want to complain about meat. There's a hide. Meat is meat, right? Um, but shoot, I want some hides too. Let's go grab our watering pan and uh, let's re let's re moisturize these bad boys. Let's see, fifty nine percent, eighty one hundred percent, sweet sweet moisture. And I don't know what happens if you let it reach zero percent. I don't know if the crop will die or what will happen. Maybe it just stops growing. But it would be kind of cool if it just stops in its growth stage and we can just leave it there as a permanent fixture. You know. A uh, permanent little area to lure in innocent little bun buns to their their poor little deaths, and uh, fifty per fifty nine percent. There we go, one hundred percent. We'll leave the bones as a reminder. Oh shoot, maybe we should take those bones out. That way they won't see uh, their fallen comrades in arms. Uh, you know, before they were devoured by the evil overlord of Papa Cheddar. And, oh, I thought that block was another bunny. <laughs> I was about to be super excited. Uh, this one's 54%. Give that a little spritzy spritz. And let's go check the water level on the farm. Ooh, looky here. What do we got? Boom. Ow. Um, ba -da -da. Onions. Onions. I don't think we have these. Perfect. We just picked up red meat. And uh, now we have some onions. We can make a nice little onion and red meat stew. And uh, we can plant these bad boys in our garden. Marvelous. Oh, look at those little bun buns. Trying to get our garden. Not going to happen. Tell you what. You better not be. Oh, this son of a. How did you get in here? Hey, hey, come back here. You son of a. Oh, get back here. Get out of here. You get out of here, you. Jeez. How did he get in here? Uh, I'm going to have to do a perimeter scan. That is not sat. That is not sat. Okay, let me let me fix some stuff. Oh, look at this. How could he not get in here? Is the, is the real question. Apparently your old Papa Cheddar doesn't know how to make a secure perimeter. Just don't tell the government. Ah, okay. Yeah, when we extended this wall out, we accidentally made contact with that other wall. On oh, these branches too, look at these. See that? You can see brown in there. Boom, got a branch. Brown in there. Boom, got a branch. No brown in there. Boom, no branch. So if you can see the brown, those dark spots, that's how you can uh, get branches, or at least know you're going to get branches when you're climbing these tree limbs and such. So, nice little uh, little pro tip from your Papa Cheddar. A good way to get saplings, too, is by doing this, by pruning the trees. So if you're uh, trying to set up a tree farm before you chop down any trees... Um, you can actually craft shears, and the shears will be excellent to uh, the shears will be excellent to prune the trees, get some saplings and twigs and stuff, and it also preserves the life of your your axe, your hatchet itself, because uh, you know it won't be using as much durability because every swing I believe knocks down leaves as well. Um, so yeah, something to keep in mind. I don't really do the shears, but it's not a bad idea. Okay, so yeah, we are hurting on this. We're, let's open this back up. So we don't have the water source. See, now we're at 59, 50%, 49%. Uh, so our, our water levels are dropping here in, in this garden as well. So unfortunately, until we get a bucket, this is going to be a daily chore for us is watering the garden. But you know what? That's survival, right, baby? That's survival. And it looks like we knocked a plant off here. That's uh, disappointing, but that's okay. I think it was just carrots. Uh, only those stinking little bunnies like carrots. Honestly, it probably was that bunny that ate my carrots. That son of a gun. That's okay. We got him and, what, five other of his buddies? So I think we won this day. They got one carrot plant, but we won this day. 
And what we can do is go ahead and plant our onions. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, these take P. Uh, so, looks like over one day of the carrot being there, it didn't take any nutrients from it. Um, so here, it, the K is now at 74.6, 74.6. Uh, and 71.6 so every food looks like it takes a different percentage of course and we'll throw the onions right there let's refill our water jug oh I should have checked to see what level it was at that's okay that's all right ah parkour get that bad boy out of there we don't want any more stinking bunnies hopping around our delicious garden zone oh moisture moisture's dropping I just planted these they really suck moisture out that quick. Apparently they do. Let's give one more solid spritz to this whole zone. What did that take? All right, so we're at 68%. So, not terrible. Uh, here we go. And any more blocks? We don't want to give these sons of guns a way in. I'm going to do a perimeter sweep and we'll come back. Do you see smoke? you see any smoke? I sure don't. Okay, let's dig up. This charcoal. Ah, yep, that is charcoal, all right. So look at there. So we've got seven layers of charcoal, four layers, four layers, and five layers. So it does seem to be rather uneven what you get in every uh, every burn. So some of the firewood that you, you turn into charcoal, or at least attempt to turn into charcoal, is going to be just burned away into ash. And, you know, that's okay. For the most part, you end up getting a decent amount of charcoal. Um, and it's not a hard process. It's easy to repeat. All it really takes is just wood and axe durability. So not bad, not bad in the long run. Definitely worth it because it's going to let us smelt our copper ores, meow. Let's get rid of this bad boy while we're thinking about it. Okay, anybody else? Any, uh, oh. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Tree core. Look at that. I'm jumping on branches. I'm a, I'm a flying, uh, flying squirrel or something. I don't even know what I am, but I am outstanding. Okay, let's get this sorted out, and let's smelt our copper. Okay, so let's try this one more time. So, boom. Crucible, and we're going to want 40 chunks. Throw the 40 chunks in there. Where's our coal? Now, it's not going to take all of this coal, thank goodness, because um, coal is a decent commodity. You know, you kind of want to save it where you can. Uh, you can use charcoal to write on signs, like uh, in signed uh, chests or named chests chests with labels on them labeled chests hey there we go labeled chests um but i wouldn't do that because you can use other stones and such to write on the the labels and the signs and stuff too so i wouldn't waste your charcoal uh personally um now this melts down really stinking quick you're gonna see once it gets up to temperature right here uh this is gonna change color and it's just gonna start flying it's gonna be changing real drastically so we'll come back as soon as that is done so look at that now we just got up to temperature so this green bar is gonna start moving as you can see, our copper has changed color, and this thing is just flying. This bar it progresses really stinking quickly. And with that, we're going to be able to get our pickaxe and our hammer, and then we're going to be saving up the rest of our copper for the anvil. And boys and girls, as soon as we get that anvil, it is going to be a whole other world of possibilities for us. We're going to be able to start crafting a permanent home, get our farm looking awesome. We get all kinds of new tools place this club in these uh, flint spears with new stuff we get a sword we can make armor we can get a saw oh oh your old papa loves the saw <laughs> you know i think i think the saw is my favorite well, no okay i can't say that the saw is not my favorite the chisel is really 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 stinking cool like oh if you guys have not looked into this game whatsoever don't please do not wait for me to put out a video on the chisel because it's going to be a little bit Go look up the chisel right now. Right now. Well, finish this video, then go look up the chisel. Um, it is sweet. And look at that. What else is sweet is pouring liquid hot copper into these cute, cute little molds. Um, so there we go. Boom. And uh, you can see the temperature up top. So we can't actually pick these up yet. They are just way too stinking hot. Um, so we're going to let these cool down. And then we'll have ourselves some new tools. We are in the Iron Age. No, not the Iron Age. <laughs> The Copper Age, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the Copper Age. Go ahead and store that bad boy there. And just look at this. Look at these beautiful, beautiful little pieces of awesome molten hot magma. Oh, 
It's great. But yeah, so chisel, I definitely recommend looking it up. It is sweet. You can do all kinds of stuff with chisels. I'm actually really excited to make a video about chiseling. Um, I'm not that good at it yet. I want to do some more practicing with it and uh, be able to understand a little more before I try and you know, present it to you guys in uh, any coherent way <laughs> kind of thing. Because um, right now I'm probably not really at that level yet. I'm not all that artsy anyway. So uh, there's some other good YouTubers out there that do a really mean job of, of making videos about Vintage Story. And the chisel is one badass one. Um, so we are almost running out of time for this video. There's one more thing I want to do with you guys. So through some more TV slash YouTube magic, we're going to come back when the time is right. When it is nigh. All right, I'll see you soon. Oh, oh hot, 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 hot. Okay, shoot, this is still like 320-something degrees Celsius, and it is hot in my hands, burning my blue little hands. But okay, look at this. So these are 300-something degrees Celsius, right? Ha, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh, it helps if we're out of the water to see it. <laughs> Look at that. Is that so cool? Just throwing hot copper stuff into water cools it down. That is stinking awesome. Just a beautiful little touch. And now they're, of course, cooled down. I don't know. The first time I saw that, I was blown away by, like, just like those moving stars. Just the little things that they add into this game just to, oh, God. Oh, God. To put that final finishing touch of love on it. I just I just love it. It's so good. It's just so damn good. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this right now. Right now, right now. Stick. Boom. Hammer. Oh, no. Messed up. Hammer. Craft. Pickaxe. Craft. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Let me see here. Boom. Nope. Hang on. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got a sweet pickaxe. We got a sweet hammer. Ha, ha, ha. We got a sweet backdrop to this beautiful day. You just can't beat this. Oh, so good. And now, if I can get... Nope, buttons. Buttons are hard. <laughs> buttons are hard. Okay, so that will, I think, uh, unfortunately wrap us up for the day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you're enjoying the series. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys like today's episode, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like or a comment. You guys can follow me on Twitter. It's at Papa Cheddar Vids. I hope that you all have a beautiful, beautiful day and that you'll come back and join us in the next one. we got a lot of exciting things planned. A lot of beautiful, wonderful things. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, I love you. Bye.